classes and my flight boards at 9.30 so I've got about 30 minutes. Shout out to my friend who dropped me to the airport. I can't contain my excitement. Okay, now I am boarding my flight to go to Honduras. There's the plane. And here I go on the plane now. Wow. Honduras, here I come, finally. I couldn't even put on the comienzo. I'm trying to protect myself, but the sun got some time. On the plane to Honduras from Grand Cayman Islands, and the things are rampant. I just love it. How dope. And the view. Thank you, universe. Thank you, ancestors. We're here at La Ciaba Airport. We have landed. So now my friend is driving me to Usha from La Ceiba Airport. He's playing some country music. <laughs> He's pretty pleasant. Good ride so far. Here I am in Usha My friend brought me safe. Woohoo! We're here. Dr. Siri, my uncle too. He's your yeah, uncle? family. Oh, yeah. wow. Sara! Sara! Is there Wi Fi here? Yes, I'm gonna get to you. Okay, okay. wow. Yeah. This is the pool, but tomorrow it's gonna be ready. Okay. They're filling it now, okay? Right. Tomorrow, awesome. will, be, tomorrow will be good. So the pen, the pen how your body could stand the hot. You go in, you rinse up, you sit outside, you could go back in, okay? Okay. Buenas. Okay. When you let your faith be bigger than your fear. Yes. This is my villa, mom. Yeah. Beautiful, nicely kept. It's yeah. gorgeous. Well, it's day two, and here I am, still in Usha Village. Check out my views. This place is so beautiful. That's like the breakfast area where people go eat. Okay, I will show more afterwards. Now sitting down to have breakfast and this is what the breakfast looks like. Hola, baby. Hola. Hola. Hola, that's me. Yeah. 
Current situation. <laughs> Este, hoy empezamos a poner lámina y ya está empezando a pegar cerámica en la parte de arriba. The food struggle is so real right now. I have to like coax myself into liking one drink in order to enjoy the other. I have to finish this, this, this in order to get this. Uh, it's like fruit juice made out of beets. And then these are just herbs. And this uh, ballet is another herb. And then this is Maya. Lord, Lord, Lord. Times are hard. Day three, and it's a special day because it's my birthday. I'm really, really, really happy to be here on my birthday and I'm grateful. Hi, Tabby! And I'm just awesomely blessed and I'm um, looking forward. Now I just gotta go find a flower to put in my hair to give me a tropical vibe feeling and look. But outfit, fleeky, hair fleeky, makeup, well, no makeup, but little eyeliner. I'm just grateful for life. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Number in numerology, y'all look it up. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy. Uh, it's a lot of good vibes, though. A good lot energy of good vibes. in this room. Yeah, yeah. It's I had to same sage with it. My room number five. Oh, number five. Oh, you have to sage it. I sage it. I yeah, always I sage everywhere it. I go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. Awesome. All right, Toronto. Much love to you. Peace and love. So every night, our nurses come and check our blood pressure. Hola. <laughs> And they just basically want to make sure that our blood pressure is okay. Um, it's just custom. It's cool. I like it. And look at her shirt. It's so nice. <laughs> Gracias. The first time it's rained since I've been here and it's so beautiful. I love it. Walking in the rain without a care towards the sauna.
That's not the baby's house. tenacity to penetrate into the layers of understanding that most women doesn't, others doesn't. You hear that everybody? Dr. Sebi himself. Aquarius woman and you know they are vigilant. Mm. I like you guys. We love you too. <laughs> well I do. <laughs> Aquarius woman, you guys are powerful. I like you guys. You guys are smart. Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Thank you. But Aquarius is number one. Aquarius doesn't come with the with their with their uh, venom. Mm. Right. They don't bring venom. Thank you. Wow. That's it. Or, you know, like my personal thing where I had my thyroid and a fibroid. So me, I eat pretty good at home, not that great, but coming to Usha Village obviously was life changing for me. It showed me so many things and I have friends Thyroid that have... and fibroids. Hmm. Look at that. I want to tell you something. One of the safest thing to do Uh, one of the best things to begin with is to understand the deficit to which we are living. We are in a deficit of life. We're not in the optimum level. We are at a deficit. Why? Okay. I am a black man, they said. I'm an African. I'm not a Chinese, I'm not an Eskimo, neither am I a white person, I am an African. Being that it is so, there is a food that was removed from my diet that was necessary to maintain throughout the years. Once we violate that cosmic law and order, you will be in a deficit from then onwards. Mm -hmm. the, every animal, every bird, every plant, every human being has an affinity for a certain mineral. Like if, for instance, if you want to strengthen your bones, you have to go to the ocean. Mm. Why? Sea moss. Sea moss. Why sea moss? 
because the active ingredient is what? Calcium. Calcium. Am I right? You're right. Okay. But if you use that same science, cosmic science, mm -hmm. the gorilla and the polar bear, mm -hmm. do they eat the same food? Mm -mm. No. The burdock yeah, doesn't yeah. eat calcium. Mm -hmm. He eats what? Iron. Mm -hmm. So when they remove us from Africa, mm -hmm. they remove our diet. Our body begin to deteriorate, and we are not making any effort to reconstruct that again. That is where I am spending most of my time to show if we could help to restore mm. that which has been lost. All of this thing that we ask for, like reparation and slavery and da 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 da. Mm mean absolutely nothing. The most important thing right now and should be priority is our health. The restructuring, reconstructing the level of our health. Once we have accomplished that, the insanity that exists among us will begin to diminish because there is a state of disease mental disease mm -hmm. among and us. inflammation in the brain. We will hurt each other. Mm -hmm. we, we, we are compelled to do it. Mm -hmm. Not that we want to do it. We are compelled to do it because they have interfered with our electromagnetic system. Sure. Another thing I would like to say that I survived to do this service to my race and to humanity only because I wanted to restore the health of my people that I saw that no one was addressing. Wow. You know, but that's okay. It wasn't the fault of the leaders. They just didn't see it. They didn't know. Mm. I was asked, I was asked by Rock Newman I watched in that an interview, show. I watched it. And I said that the black American leaders were not interested mm. in the health of the black race. Not that they were not interested. I didn't mean it to be received that way that they didn't care. Mm -hmm. They just didn't know. Mm -hmm. Because they, the leaders, also became victims of disease, like all the rest of us. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know how many people have asked me about that statement that I made. Not that the black leadership hate black people, no. I doubt that. So Dr. Sebi, why can't more people practice what you're showing? Like, what's the problem? Like, why isn't this taught in hospitals and for giving, giving people an option to like, live healthier, fuller lives? Like, why don't doctors subscribe to this? They just want to give you medication, medication for everything. I understand the pharmaceutical industry is big, but like, there has to be a way where people can have a balance. And what's their, why they are opposed to that? One of the things that I begin to see, and it began in 1970 with the Pavlovian puppy, they have made us into a Pavlovian puppy. Mm -hmm. uh, why they are not helping, why they are not recognizing, they should not. Let us break it into parts. The pharmaceutical laboratories are not supposed to address a condition that affects black folks. That's not their business. To say that they should address things that relates to us is to say that they are benevolent, is to say that they are good people. If that is so, why did you took me away from the land where God placed me? Knowing that that was a violation, then you fed me starch and blood. 
So, you have shown that you have very little concern for the existence of black people. That is the pharmaceutical laboratories. They are not supposed to be concerned with our health condition. Mm -hmm. Now, as we leave the pharmaceutical laboratory, which is not their business, we are not the business of the pharmaceutical laboratories because we are not their property. Wow. We are not the property of the white man. We are not the property of the Chinese. We are not the property of anybody. We are our own property, but we have not addressed that. 80% of the leaders in America eat pork meat. 20% of them eat lamb, but those that eat lamb feel that they are superior to the pork eater. Not so. Not so. You're making a big mistake. The lamb has more poison than any pork. So, who is it left to do? To do the work. Who is left to do the work? You, the black woman. We have not tapped into the black woman. All we have done is to lead her. To lead her. To control her. Why? I don't know. Some fear. Because when they met us, we didn't even have clothes on. The Arabs came and put clothes on us and religion. And then the European came and gave us another religion and language and clothes too. Well, enough is enough. We didn't look at the right place for the answers. Have you ever seen cubs following daddy? So why do you women let men lead you? Thank you. Because of society. That's a violation. Mm -hmm. Anytime, look, it's, it's, it, it is a sin vitus dance. It's a crazy ritual. When you see a man leading woman, mm. hey, hey bro, you came out of one. You came out of a woman vagina. How could you be better than her? <laughs> so he has it, y'all. Whenever you see a black woman following a black man as her leader, they both have lost it. Mm. He lost it because he is disrespectful. He is being disrespectful. Nature does not show that. Mm. The woman by not being acquainted with the laws of life, she gonna follow this man thinking that he have the answer. Man, he's, he needs help. <laughs> Dr. Sabi, when you retire, cause you're looking like you're gonna retire in a couple years. I don't know, you look like you could live till 200, but which person's gonna take over for Usha? Like who's gonna give us all this amazing advice? How are we gonna know what to do? That's a very, Good question. Currently, we are building tree building to grow mushrooms. We are develop. We are finishing my house. I have a community that I'm. I hope to develop of seven black women. Women. Already. That's gonna represent the African bio mineral no. balance yes. to carry on the tradition. Yes, it's a very good question. So I am building this this center, the dome, okay. that we could begin to school. Is it going to be here at Usha Village? Right here. Okay, so we can come back and... Do That's right. The Lisa Lopez School of Organic Medicine. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. Good it's a good question. Mm -hmm. There was a young man in Washington named Nazar Moyo. Nazar Moyo, okay. His teeth were yellow, his nails were yellow, his skin was yellow, Jaundice? everything was yellow, Okay. and he was swollen. Wow. I knew of an herb that the Mexican people uses and it is very effective. That's for his liver you feel? Was that his liver? Specializes for the liver. 
Thank you. So they call it a boldo. B O L D O. Pablo and I discovered an herb called, called Ceniso de Monterrey. Okay. That is effective. Ceniza de Monterrey. Your brother gonna be saved. Don't worry about it. Thank you. So thank you so much. By you giving me your address and phone number. We're going to stay in contact, you hear? Thank you. Because I am interested not only in your brother, but now I became interested in you who would like to be part of the sisterhood mm -hmm. that, would be re that would be representing the African biomineral balance. Ashe, thank you. Just had the most moving conversation with Dr. Sebi. Oh my God. I filmed as much as, it, as I could and I'm so blessed and grateful. Um... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't want to stay too long because this ain't my house, but it's so beautiful. I'm so blessed. My last day at Usher Village, my last breakfast, my last breakfast, high blood pressure. Going to the pool for the very last time.